Welcome back everyone for the next part of that store. As I already said in the last part, we aren't quite done with exploring the old areas yet. At the very least, I haven't really quite checked out the, the mushroom dungeon, the frog area yet, and then uh, the sea town right in front of the, the giant iceberg where we had to fight Betty. So we're going to do that first. And, well, I guess we're also going to take care of the, the hook upgrade as well. We're still going to keep the, the arrow for a little bit later. A little bit later. I'm going to save that one for the very last. I can already say you that. I'm going there very last. Because I know for a fact how difficult I am on this. Like seriously, I'm not even joking about that, okay? You guys might think I'm joking. But no. The error. The error is even worse. Imagine. Imagine everything combined into one beam. That is the error boss, okay? And you already saw how much trouble I had with fires because of the fire circle, right? Now imagine that with any type of other abilities combined. It is a nightmare. A literal nightmare. Anyways, uh, let me just uh, go ahead. Cut ahead and see what we can find around the area. Okay, I wasn't really able to find anything in the dungeon. But maybe in the keep? Eh, we'll see. Oh, okay, that was a bummer. Doesn't really seem like there was anything left in the mushroom dungeon. Whoa, this keep. Which means, uh, I would say we're going to take a shortcut in order to reach the, the other area. Wait, was it bottom? I think it was bottom. Yeah, we, we still need to uh, explore the area around the sea town, which is called... Uh... No? The Stranded Sailor, of course. I, I completely... I didn't forget the name. I, I didn't. It is, it's just simply the, the Stranded Sailor, nothing else. Because actually... In this town, thanks to our new ability, we can actually do quite a lot of things. Like, uh, that seems, it seems like it's still active, that's good. Like, uh, activating this switch, reading this text. There are weaknesses in the walls that the eye can see. Beneath the wooden walkway, a secrets await for thee. Uh, do you guys still remember those switches that I activated while traveling through the, the region? When I was saying like, ah, I'm gonna do it later, and then I was like, ah, it's already there, why not? Well, you need those switches in order to open up this gate. And this gate leads to the final weapon. The Great Sword. This was clearly wielded by a very imposing figure once upon a time. You can equip it later. Seriously, later. <laughs> if I equip it now, it would totally screw with my umbrella achievement. So no, we're not, we're not gonna do that just yet. Oh. Hey there, buddy. What are you doing? Play around? Fire? No reason to do that. for me okay well that's a bit weird don't you think 
Holy. Dude. I'm serious. What the hell? What the hell? You almost. Well, actually, you killed your friends. You killed your friends. They already were enough, but you had to mess with the battle. At the very least, thanks to those guys, I have to find a shrine. And with that, all the shrines. The ancient shrine offers you a piece of her of the vitality crystal. You have completed the crystal and now you have maximum HP. Ah. That's the first time I actually got that. <laughs> like really. I uh, the, the best upgrade I had was like 5 health. Now we have 6. That should help out a lot. So, that was the left side of the city. And I think there was also something towards the right side. Let's check that out right away. Actually, before we go to the right side. We were already able to explore pretty much every corner of the, of the castle, right? Which means I'm just going to make sure really quickly that there isn't really anything else up there. Just in case you never know. So okay, from the looks of it, from the looks of it, I pretty much cleared out the whole area. I'm a bit worried about the fact that I still have two seeds, but but wait, wait, wait. Never mind. Never mind. We still have two upgrade bosses around. And the upgrade bosses usually have a pot near their room. So unless, unless I forgot a seed somewhere, I should be good, technically speaking. Unless I forgot something somewhere along the way, I should be good and have all the pots. I think. But well, first of all, oh, hey there girl. Hey there Maddie. Thanks again for the adventure. I've never seen anything like it before. And I got enough material to make what I think could be my magnum opus. Wanna hear it? Of course. Alright, here we go. <coughs> the drunk crow did a love, uh, did love at last named Betty. <laughs> but it turns out she was a big hairy yeti. The hero and the beast battled till they both got all sweaty. But Betty, the yeti, got sliced in the spaghetti. And now we'll never see what the wedding confetti. Uh, that wedding. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I mess up her lyrics. I'm messing up her lyrics. <laughs> I, was only, I was only able to do the first one good. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. By the way, do you know about Betty? <gasps> did you did you save Betty? <gasps> no, actually, not really. By the way, if I remember, the last time you gave me some clues. Maybe I did find something, huh? More customers float uh, float by by the each day. Word must be spreading about my delicious fish head soup. A lot of them ask me. Hey, J-Man, my guy, my pal, what's with that sweet-looking pot on your back? Uh, you mean the squid thing? And I tell him straight. It's a neat backpack, which I fashioned for myself out of an old tub. I use my opusable thumbs, which are things that I definitely have. Uh-huh, clearly a backpack. They are always very impressed. Now, could I prepare any substance to you, my fellow land dweller? Sure. Great. One delicious meal coming right up. I sure do love preparing food with my multi-digit mammal hands. Uh-huh. Multi-digit. <laughs> well then. Do you have any secrets to share? Let me tell you a little something about your ingest nutrients. Goodness, you have picked this island as clean as... Wait, what? Goodness, you have picked this island as clean of secret as you have. That bowl of fish fiasco. Wait, what? 
Wait! I thought you were supposed to give me a hint. I didn't have all the items yet. I mean, look at the... Look at my shinies. There are gaps. There are gaps everywhere. Huh. Well, never mind. I cannot rely on the squid anymore. It seems, it seems like he's surprised about uh, my fruity... Uh, my fruity search of the area, but... <laughs> still not enough. I'm still lagging stuff. I can see that clearly. Oh my god, Bob the can! Bob! Don't! Why is it always Bob? Every single time! Well, at least, at the very least, this time around, Bob doesn't seem like that bad of guy. He's not green! He's not jumping! Maybe it's because of the weather. Maybe he's rusting because of the weather. Maybe he's a bit uh, surprised about the fa Oh, wait, never mind. Suddenly he's able to do stuff! Oh! Okay. And then, please burn again, Bob! Ouch! Come on, Bob, don't do this. Don't be like this every time. Bob! You need to burn! Come on, Bob! Please! You're cracking all over! Just... Would you? Be so kind! What tank is that one? There you go. Okay. Now, does it lead to another shiny? Great. You found an ink-covered teddy bear. This would be very cute if it wasn't so dis uh, disgusting. Well, it's just a bit dirty. Right? It's just a bit of ink. The other crow would love it. Like, really. Just a bit of ink, you know? It's not even that bad. Maybe... Uh, I don't know if I have to... How deep is the ink, actually? <laughs> Can we clean that? I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, this plush bear was probably quite cute when it was first made. But in its current state, it is a... Uh, sorry, bedraked sight. Covered in ink stain and small circulate... Blotches? Eh, nevertheless. Appears well loved. True, true. I mean, it is a teddy bear. Somebody must have loved it at one point. So, was that pretty much it? Could be. I mean, the town was already that big. Which means... Wait, just quickly... Yeah, I got that adventure log. That means I'm supposed to go up back into the main central area now, huh? Oh, hey, Potheads! Oh, ho, ho! It seems you have found my old struggle. With your struggle? I haven't seen it in a long time. I do love gardening, but with the state of the world these days, not much grows. I've placed all uh, I've placed pots all over the island in the hopes that passing travelers might plant any seeds they find. I'm optimistic new life will spring uh, will spring up in due course. But don't worry, it actually worked. Thanks to your pods, I was able to get uh, recovery items and recovery spots all around the area. Like, really? All around the area. Let me just quickly open this now. Since uh, I guess... I guess it's about time that we... That we do something that I'm not always been looking forward to because... But then again, from all kinds of bosses... He isn't really that bad. Like, really. From all kinds... He isn't really that bad. He's actually the one that I fought first. So I should be able to finish him in the first attempt. Just saying. I should be able to finish him in the first attempt. Also, do not be fooled by the things around the circle here. 
We cannot grab onto them. Those are spirit things. They only belong to this guy. And he really loves to dash around. So, technically speaking, I think we should be fine. Really no, he is really, he is really that tough. The, the best thing that he can do around here is uh, dash around a bit. That's it. Right. Jump. Let's burn him again. Side is with the grappling hook attack, he is kind of quick. Kind of quick. That's his mess. So, in general, we have to take a while for us to actually defeat that guy. But the well. Oh, by the way, since he technically is the third upgrade that we can grab around here. And technically the third boss. He is kind of durable. Oh shoot, are you kidding? He didn't got stopped in time! That's not fair! I must slow down! It's not do that. Oh my god, I actually he actually managed to hit me with that? Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Your blasphemy. One, two, one, two, three. There's no way in hell. No way in freaking hell. It usually never hits. I almost hit him. In comparison to the flame guy, that really isn't going to be such an impressive upgrade. But tell, but let me tell you, that skill combined with the fire circle, you saw how quick those fireballs are flying, right? In a big area. Yeah. That is a nightmare. That is actually the most dangerous skill that he has with the hook. <laughs> a silent servant has been vanquished. With their soul power added to yours. Your hookshot spell now does a powerful slash when you use your sword when being pulled towards the target. Great! Don't remember actually using it that often, but. Better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. So, is there anything else like soul energy that I could grab around here? Because if there isn't, I don't really have anything else to do besides going for the for the fourth upgrade <laughs> and uh, seeing which kind of uh, upgrades I can buy right now. Because one thing is for sure, all of my points that I have right now are going to go all into my attack power, my magic attack power. That's for sure. Let me see. Wasn't there an item that I could grab? Ah, I was supposed to do it from the other side. Wait a second. Uh, jump down here. Grab a round. And there we have it. The token of death. An ancient culture used to place these over the eyes of the deceased as a payment to the god of death for ferrying them to the afterlife. 
People from ancient culture must have had big eyes. Maybe they had. Wait, where is it? Uh, it's always a bit tough to see where they put it in the, in the inventory. A coin that used to be placed over the eyes of the deceased, an ancient funeral ritual. Its original belongs to the... Uh, originally belongs to Stet's, uh, Stet Phone, the grave digger. It probably came from one of the funerals he conducted. Stead Hone is honored, uh, honor bound to lay to rest those who have passed and wish them peace beyond life. <sighs> it's really nice guy. Okay. Just to be sure there's no secret in this hall. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. So let's see, please. Please let me find something else beside of that upgrade. <laughs> Serious, I'm not sure if I I'm not sure if I have enough points to actually get both magic upgrades. Huh? Oh my god. Oh no, we are pretty much done then, yeah? Oh no, that means oh no. Well, uh, okay, time for a technical retreat. I need to see if I have enough to actually buy the magic upgrades. Uh, give me a second. Okay, let's see. Do I have enough? 1k? Oh! So close! But if it's only 50, I'm gonna farm that. Give me a second. If it's only 50, that's pretty much nothing. I just need to go back to the frog area, which is actually towards right. Uh, right before the castle, there are multiple enemies that I can fight. It should literally get me to 150. Uh, 1k 500, right? Yeah. I, I totally, I totally need that magic upgrade. <laughs> really, <laughs> I, I need that magic upgrade. <laughs> okay. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. And now, please. The last magic upgrade. I need the power. I need the dexterity. And I think with free speed, it should be good enough that I am able to handle it. Oh, the bow boss. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, I can't avoid it. Sooner or later, I need to go there. Right. Sooner or later, I need to go there. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Okay, that was the wrong door. <laughs> I'm so distracted by the sheer, the sheer fact, the sheer fact that I need to go there is distracting me enough that I went through the form door. <laughs> okay, now you guys probably wonder. Hey, Ray. Ray, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. I mean, sure, it's the combination of all the bosses combined into one, but it can't be that bad, right? Oh, God. <laughs> but it is. It actually is. It is really that bad. It is, I think, personally, I find that boss fight even worse than anything that is still coming for us, okay? There is one other tricky one that is going to show up very soon. But this one. Ooh, this one's this one's the absolute worst. The absolute actual worst. So, but hey, would you look at that? There was sun energy around. Great. Now you guys probably wonder, hey Ray, why are you so careful while navigating through here? What is up with those uh, with those blobs? And well. Let me tell you, uh, if you were to attack them, you're just going to hatch them. And if you hatch them, they're going to start attacking you. And that means they're going to be very annoying. Especially, normally I would always say ticks aren't so bad, right? But uh, if there are enough of them around, they could become quite uh, troublesome. Okay, they could in fact become quite troublesome. So let me just quickly light up this, uh, this fire. 
going to grab that item really soon, but for now we're just going to focus down on the fact that uh, <laughs> uh, the boss is waiting for us, you know? The boss is literally waiting for us. And I'm not really sure how long, or rather how long this is going to take, or how many attempts I will need. But we are going to prepare for the worst, we are going there right away. Just through here. I really love my fireball. So effective. So very effective. Let's just uh, go through here really quickly. Get the final part. There we go. This time around, I didn't miss any of them. <sighs> now I just need to activate the last thing in order. Reach the boss. To get rid of those sticks. I think I need to run my way through here. Which means, don't mind me. Just shooting fireballs, okay? There. So. I think that was pretty much it. What I could do around. Oh, shoot. Don't do it. Don't do it, ticks. Yeah, I have no beef with you guys, okay? Doing here stuff. Wait, do it. Oh, wait, wait, it's not that easy, right? It's not that easy to actually reach the boss. <laughs> hey, guys! So, don't do this! Don't do this! You don't want to do this, believe me! Here, yeah, have another fireball, huh? Another one! And then I'm just going to slap you a bit. So, I have another ball. How's it going? Oh, I'm not really sure if that hook is that effective, but the uh, very least, I can give it a chance for it. Go! Ticks! Did you get it? No way. I'm gonna use this guy to recover my. It's actually kind of hard to use the, the ability. Especially if I don't really see where the attack was. Ooh, green blobs, huh? Well. I hope you guys. Oh, wait, never mind. I hope you guys like fire! But I really still need to stay a little bit further away from you guys. From the looks of it. Oh wait, I got hit by that? Mage, don't do that! Don't wish to do that, believe me! Oh my god, giant tick. Okay. Funny thing about the giant thing, uh, tick is that uh, it has eggs on its back, like a spider. Meaning... Yeah! We need to fight against multiple ticks while fighting against the big tick. Totally. But hey, at the very least, at the very least, in order to get out of here, we just need to, uh, we just need to kill the big tick, and then uh, everything else is already gone. So, and now, without further ado, that should technically lead us to the actual boss door, right? Technically speaking, maybe. Is it another? Ah, shoot! And I don't have. Okay, wait a second. I, I need to prepare stuff around here. I don't have a pee. And I need a pee. Is that, do I need to explode something? Yes, I do. Takes! Please! I'm 
Busy hier. So, shoot. There. Now. We have another healing point? I don't think so. Nah. Okay, we're going to start our first attempt with 4 health. It is possible. I mean, I, I, I've once did it for 5. I mean... This is going to be a nightmare. This <laughs> is going to be a nightmare. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, God! The red one! The freaking red one! At the very at the very least, I have the fire ability, right? This is going to help us out like quite a lot. Our magic is next. Ouch. And I'm already missing out. Bomb ability, but the bomb ability is not a problem. Fireballs are. Fireballs. Which is already there. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Why is it? Why is it that it's so difficult to play around the fireball, huh? Anything else? Completely fine. But the fireballs! <laughs> the freaking <laughs> okay, this is this is going to take a while. I can already tell. Okay, it's actually going for that now. Huh? It's actually going for that now. Now this is so bad. The worst thing he could possibly do is dash around with the fireballs. <laughs> Seriously, Dad! Dad, do you see how quickly the fireballs can be? Oh shit, wait, I, I can only do that with my arrows. I forgot. God damn it, it's so tough to get him to burn! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Fireballs! <laughs> You have some cracks at the very least. But but I'm messing up. I'm messing up so badly. They could have been easier if he didn't shoot his arrows. <laughs> he didn't, didn't even allow him to dash around. I can cancel his dash. 
Oh my god! <laughs> the silent sermon has been vanquished and the soul power added to yours. Maybe it was also just a bug. I don't remember he ever did that before. <laughs> I take it. Holding your arrow spell for longer will now charge a shot and cause more damage. Great. <sighs> now, we have all the abilities. Red, orange, blue, and green. That is also the very first time I ever had that. If really, the very, very first time. And now I'm really, really close to dying. Oh wait. Can I can I just can I just get my flower? Oh my god. Okay, that is literally the best. <laughs> okay. Uh if I remember right. There's still that one item that we need to grab. And for that, I need to open up the way. Oh shoot, I don't have any more. Oh, there are too many of them. There are too many of them. Okay. Okay. That is easier. Good. Good, much better, much better. Now, can I just safely walk through here without getting attacked by multiple kinds of ticks, please? There we go, okay. There we go, much, much better. And hey, we already have like 411. That's already a lot. Wait, is this going to lead me back or does this lead me... To another soul orb. That's good. But I think this is actually the way back. Which means... Yeah, we, we don't really want to do that just yet. Because there's still one item waiting for us. Meaning, I need to go through there again. Please don't do it. I'm just passing through here. I need, I need to get that item. All the shiny counts. I need to get all shinies at one point in the movies. Uh, how do I get up there? Ticks. Or oh, ticks. Okay. Climb up before they suddenly decide to attack. Actually, I'm on the wrong side. Was I supposed to get back up there? Ah, right over here. Okay. So I activated that, was able to climb up here. And then in order to get to the spirit, I went up. Right? Pretty much. Okay. In this case, I'm gonna go my way through here. It's nobody's business in order to get this shiny. You have found the old compass. It occasionally twitches in turns of its own whims. It is clearly very old. Perhaps the the mechanism inside is mostly worn out. Maybe this, but maybe there are more clues inside. The compass occasionally twitches in turns by some strange uh, by some strange whims, but mainly appears to be drawn to that door rather than pointing to the north. It must have it must have belonged to an adventurer who was searching for the legendary door. Maybe that also belongs to the to the crow? Possibly. But let me see, we are still missing three items. Okay. But we're going to look into that in another part. First of all, <laughs> after after finding those two upgrade bosses, I would say it is finally time for us to approach the crow again, right? Yeah, totally. Totally. Especially since I don't think I'm going to find any more of my soul orbs. Meaning, I need to do, make do with the upgrades that we have. That's, but it's going to be fine. It's, it's totally going to be fine. <laughs> I hope. 
Anyways, I hope you guys had fun. And see you in the next part. Until then, bye-bye.